The strategy, as you know, is you know, deploy home or ha to have people at home that have mild or moderate symptoms and to use an app to actually manage them uh, remotely. Uh, so there's a, a process, the patient is first registered by the clinical team and receives an email or SMS to set up the account. They complete registration. Um, now it turns out this is um, a pulse oximeter and it turns out this is the thing that is most critical in terms of managing patients that have COVID-19. WHO have done a study and they've looked at 40,000 data points or from patients, 45,000 patients um, in, in China. And the pulse oximeter or the saturation level, the oxygen saturation level is the number one sort of indicator when things are getting bad. So if your oxygenation level drops between, below 93%, then you need to be hospitalized. So the idea is, uh, and you know, they have built sort of an application um, which um, allows real-time collection of the oximetry uh, reading, and then it is posted to a clinical portal. So I'm going to do a live demonstration. So the, the HSE, we normally take a year to build an app, but I, I just picked up this uh, device on my way to the presentation here. It just shows how quickly can, you can move if you have you know, agile partners working with you. So um, this is the, the app. This is a pulse uh, oximeter. It's something that you would see in any hospital. It's now turning on, it's checking my uh, pulse and I'm, I'm going to um, ask it to take a reading. So it's now waiting for a connection. You know, you can see here it's showing 97%. And so it's now taking the measurement, it's reading the measurement from the oximeter. And there it's showing actually, obviously my pulse is a bit high because I'm nervous presenting it, it's 113. <laughs> but my, um, the saturation, the oxygen saturation is 97%. So this is a technology that you know, didn't exist last Wednesday and is now available and we have a, a crisis management team that will be making a decision after, uh, this afternoon how this can be integrated into the model of care.